Hi, my name is Jason. Um, I'm from a company, AYS Engineering, based in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. We are um, the local sales and service partner for a few European companies and uh, specialize in industrial packaging and palletizing systems. So today I would like to talk about uh, a very interesting topic that has been uh, requested by a lot of my clients. Yeah? They're always asking me, hey, Jason, you're in this industry for quite some time. Yeah? What are the real innovation uh, in terms of uh, industrial packaging in the cement and building, uh, building material industry? So, yeah, I mean, um, for the last 20, 30 years, we have always witnessed the conventional packaging material. These are um, multi-wall multi uh, craft paper bags and, of course, PP bags, yeah. So, these two bags are widely used in Asia, all right, uh, for the cement and building material industry. And, uh, of course, um, there are a few disadvantages of these bags you know, that is being used all this well. Of course, these were, these were the only options at that time, yeah. So let me just share a few of the disadvantages of uh, these kind of bags yeah, uh, when it comes, comes to uh, packaging um, uh, building material. Yeah. So first of all, um, it's regarding the moisture barrier. Okay, having said that, you may have a PE liner inside, and, uh, but due to the fact that the paper is porous, and of course the valve is also uh, not tight, uh, it's not completely sealed, um, you tend to have a very low moisture barrier for these bags. So these bags may actually affect your the shelf life of your bag. Yeah. Um, of course, the next one is regarding wastages. Um, the fact that the breakage strength of these bags are, are lower. So it means during filling time, all right, if you have the wrong bag size and of course, uh, maybe your product has a lot of air inside, you tend to experience a lot of back breakages here yeah, during filling. So these are all wastages for your back material. And uh, of course the next point would be um, cleanliness yeah, of your back. So during filling, it's always uh, inevitable for product to uh, have a backflow and speed out. Yeah? So the material will actually backflow and it will actually contaminate or dirty the surface of your cement bag. And uh, of course, this dust will be transferred down to the downstream equipment, to your, to your pelletizing systems, to, your, um, to, to the truck, to your distributor, and to your customer. Yeah. So basically, you wouldn't want these bags to be placed in, your, in your, you and my car. Yeah. So these are dirty bags. And of course, uh, the next one will be um, the printing. All right, these bags itself you actually have uh, a very standard color printing from three to up to five colors. So uh, it makes marketing not so attractive, let's say. So these are standard standard color printing. So of course, uh, when cement is a commodity, it's always important to have attractive printing. Yeah. And uh, as you may know, um, the price of uh, virgin craft paper has been on an increase for the last yeah, three years, yeah, he has increased from, from 20 to 40% as I was told. And uh, the price of paper will keep on increasing as well. Yeah. Um, of course, the next one is regarding sustain sustainability, right? And also recycling. Uh, of course, in Europe, uh, to, to recycle these kind of bags, you need to separate out the paper and also the any inliner that you have inside yeah, to separate out. Because one is paper and one is LDPE, okay, or HDPE. And um, that costs money and uh, it takes time right, for recycling. Of course, recycling in Asia is not a big topic now, but it will come later. So this may actually pose um, um, an issue for recycling these bags uh, in future. All right. So, okay, we know, we know all the disadvantages of these bags. Um, but okay, what are the solutions uh, in the market now to address these, right? So Harvard and Boca, being an expert in industrial packaging, uh, they have come up with a solution called the Haver Adams technology. Basically, they are filling fine powdery product into plastic film bags like this. This is an LDPE uh, plastic film bag. 
and uh, feeding product into this kind of bag has been limited to granulates in the past. But with the new Haver Adams machine, feeding powdery product into this kind of bag is possible. Okay, the Haver Adams machine is a very flexible machine. You can actually fill a um, bag size from one kilo tiny bags up to uh, 50 kilogram bags here. Yeah? So the capacity wise, you can fill up to 2000 bags per hour. And of course, material size, um, you can actually feel very powdery product from 50 microns up to a uh, 15 millimeter particle size. All right. Um, you may ask, okay, what are the advantages of this kind of uh, bag material, right? So there are two aspects. Uh, from the machine point of view, um, this is a clean filling machine. Means there won't be any a lot of dust spillages around your packing plant. So means. Your bags will be clean, uh, let's say your environment will be clean and um, your, your packing machine down to your conveyor to your palletizing systems will be more or less clean. So it means there will be a very less wear and tear moving uh, part maintenance. Yeah? So this is good for your packing plant, for your maintenance of your packing plant. And um, of course on the other aspect will be on the bag itself, right? So it's a very, it's a clean bag, uh, means you actually, due to the fact that you actually seal the top and also the bottom of the bag. So it's a, it's a very tight bag and due to this, it's a clean bag. Alright, so you won't get any dust uh, that is sticking on this film surface. And uh, of course, the next one will be a um, high moisture barrier. Due to the fact it's a tight bag, um, very less moisture will be able to penetrate the film and into your product. So means you have um, an improved product life, uh, shelf life. Yeah. You can also place these bags outdoor uh, without any protective film uh, and come rain or shine, um, your product quality will still be maintained, let's say. Yeah. So of course, the next one will be the strength of the film. Yeah. So these films are 95% um, higher strength than your um, paper bag and um, due to this fact um, okay you also have a very high tear strength you won't be able to tear these bags easily and due to this fact you have um, a lower bag breakage and um, of course this will also result in a lower wastages yeah, during transportation to your distributor for example and of course, this will also improve your claims, yeah. And of course, the next one will be printing. As you can see here, these are attractive printing, yeah, very vibrant colors onto glossy surface. Your marketing team would definitely like this. And uh, due to the fact that cement and building material is a commodity, having an attractive printing would definitely improve your market share, yeah. So, yeah. Um, of course, the next one will be um, uh, competitive uh, costing on the film. This kind of film is readily available uh, in Malaysia or any parts of the country, uh, any parts of the world. Uh, you can get this kind of film at a very competitive price compared to paper bags. Yeah. So, yeah, these are the advantages of the PE film bags. Um, we have. If you have any other questions, please feel free to actually drop me an, an email. Uh, we can actually have a discussion on how to improve your, your packing process and also your packing plant. So um, thank you very much for having uh, the time for me. And uh, stay safe during this COVID-19 period. I know it's a very difficult period for everyone. And, uh, but I'm sure everything will be back to normal very soon. So stay safe. Be positive. And uh, goodbye to everyone. See you. Yeah. Bye.